Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, this is going to be a, hopefully, a quick video on uh, my thoughts and my reaction to the Duchess of Sussex uh, breaking news of her miscarriage. Um, that would have been hers and uh, Prince Harry. Uh, now he likes to call himself just Harry. Um, that would have been their second child. They already have Archie, which is their son, um, their first child together. So I just want to jump right into my thoughts, okay? Because, um, you know, like many, many people on YouTube, you know, I have been one of the, the people who have covered um, their journey, uh, their, their marriage from the very, very beginning, um, because there was a lot of controversy around the couple, unfortunately. And um, I did take it upon myself to, you know, look into the couple with the cards, you know, just just for fun. You know, I was hoping to see some really, really beautiful uh, cards, tarot cards, of course, oracle cards. Um, I'm an intuitive, you know, I do have that ability um, by the grace of God. And so, um, you know, there's a lot of things that, you know, were revealed to me and other people through the cards. And um Many of my videos were just, I mean, such high views, so accurate. You know, I was many, I was one of the many few who did predict that they would be leaving the royal family. I did a 2020 whole reading on the couple, and that was one of the many, many uh, crazy things that I did predict and did say on camera. The video is still up on my playlist on my YouTube channel um, to view, okay? Um, and at the time, I was kind of just scratching my head because I'm like, wow, you know, is this true? You know, when I when I had that revelation and I had that download, I was pretty shocked, but I was I was more so uh, saddened by it because you know, obviously, something must have went really, really wrong for this couple to decide to pack up and go to California. Now, Megan is a California girl. We all know this. You know, she was born and raised in California. You know, she's American, not British, if you didn't know. Uh, Megan's not British born. She's American. Her mother and her family lives in America, so you know, it does make a lot of sense why they would go to California. Um, this is kind of the background, right? So you know, breaking news, um, they're, they're alleging, you know, in the media that she had this miscarriage in July. Um, it's been several months now since July, you know, I'm recording this video on the 26th of November, well, really 25th at night, two o'clock in the morning, but, um, I'm recording this video in November of 2020, right? So of course, you know, like my initial reaction was, you know, at first I was kind of, you know, wondering, like immediately my thoughts when I heard the news was, I wonder how she was feeling, Megan, you know, her real name's Rachel, but immediately, you know, my feelings were, what is Megan feeling? You know, what does she feel, um, you know, when she got that news? Uh, like what was going through her mind? Um, because, you know, a, a miscarriage is, is really, really tragic and, uh, you know, my second thought when I when I heard the news, I mean, automatically what I thought was the stress, you know, like my my initial thought was, OK, this this must have happened because of the stress. You know, I mean, they may not be able to say it because they already have so many people targeting them. And, you know, I'm going to go into the whole backlash about, you know, other things and how people are making fun of her. Um, you know, not being very sympathetic, you know, I'm going to touch a, a little bit on that too. But, you know, my second thought was, that's stress. You know, I think that she lost that baby because of stress. I mean, it's a no brainer. You know, it's, it's really a no brainer, in my opinion. I mean, they had to leave the royal family, you know, they felt like they had no other choice. In Harry's words, you know, he kept saying we had no choice, we had no choice. Okay, so, you know, now they're in California. And, you know, hopefully they are happier and doing more things that they want to do in California, you know, California living. But, you know, it just seems like this couple has really gone through a lot. And, um, you know, I would not be surprised if uh, the, mis the miscarriage in some way affected their relationship. Now, I think because of all of the things they've been through, I would hope that it would make them stronger. I mean, that's what I'm assuming is that 
because Megan did have this miscarriage that they're going to be now a more uh, you know, healthy, strong, you know, connected couple. You know what I'm saying? Like if, if you lose a child, you know, that should make your bond even stronger. So, you know, if they take this as, you know, if, if the couple's perspective is the right one, and they built their relationship on the right on the right foundation. This should make the couple um, be drawn to war, you know, closer. You know, this should make their relationship closer. And I hope for their sake that it does, because at this point, it just feels like they've had a lot of bad luck. They've had a lot of backlash. They've had a lot of haters. They've had a lot of people, you know, wishing for their downfall. You know, no matter what cards I pulled in this couple, you know, I have always been very fair. I have always, you know, looked at the whole story. And I've always been the kind of person to research, like research, you know, what the truth is. So in this case, it does seem like they've taken it, the, the couple has taken it upon themselves to share it. Now, a lot of celebrities like Chrissy Teigen, you know, there's other celebrities out here in the year of 2020 who have shared um, their own miscarriage stories. Now, I what I want to say with that, you know, that, that brings me to another point. What I would want to say with that in terms of sharing personal information, um, <sighs> you know, I would not recommend it. I don't, you know, I wouldn't recommend it. Um you know, if I had a miscarriage, would I share that information? Probably not. Um, if I had a pregnancy, would I share that information? Probably not. Okay. Um, even though I think it's 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 great to connect with people over the internet, and you know, especially if you're at Harry and Meghan's level, you know, you know that the press is going to pick it up. I mean, you know that people are going to be talking about how bad it is and you know what happened and why did you know you know what 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 happened you know what happened you know where, where did she find out what were her thoughts like you you know that people are going to be asking these questions right so you know i think that the couple maybe there was rumors you know what i'm thinking is maybe there's people that wanted to tell the press about it you know, maybe just a thought, maybe there's people in Megan's life who said, hey, you know, we can get a, a big check for this. Like maybe somebody was threatening to release this information. And I think the couple, if that if that's the case, I think the couple was smart to release it first. OK, so I'm not saying that I'm not saying that that's what happened. I'm just saying that if there was um, rumors about it, then, you know, obviously the smartest thing to do is to be the first person, you know, beat beat the the, the paparazzi and beat the, the gossipers and beat the, the media to, to the punch. So what I think they've done which is good for them, is express it in their own way. You know, they've not had anybody just leak it. Um, and, and clearly, you know, it's it's not been, this information has not been leaked from the month that it happened, which is allegedly July, okay? Um, the, the stories, articles I've seen, they said July. If it's different, I apologize, but this happened apparently in July, okay? So, you know, in that sense, good for them. They've been able to take, you know, they've been able to get a hold of the story. They've been able to express from their own perspective, you know, um, what what the the grief, you know, the grief and the loss. But like I said, again, you know, because this couple has had so much drama, um, you know, did it, is it going to benefit Megan? Like, like, is this going to help? I mean, I don't think that they released this to help their image. I don't think that at all. You know what I'm saying? I mean, some people think that, but I, I don't think that they, um, told the public about the miscarriage to get brownie points. In this case, I don't think so. Um, it was just something that happened to the couple. You know, it's been on the, it's been on the hush hush clearly for months. So they've done a good job with, with concealing that information. But now that this information is out to the public, you know, what damage is it going to do? You see what I'm saying? You know, how is it going to benefit and how can it hurt the couple? Um, that's going to be their own cross to carry yet again. Because the thing is, if this couple just kept to themselves, if Megan just kept it to herself, you know, she wouldn't have to, to worry about people, you know, trolling her, making fun of her, you know, and it's sad to say this, but it's just the reality. Um, and unfortunately, you know, in the society we live in and people that don't have the nicest of hearts, they take the story and they run with it. OK, so, you know it's it's their opinion, you know, it's, it's their decision, it's their choice. You know, they 
this couple, this couple, it's their choice to release this private information. And I'm saying private, you know, um, deeply, you know, this is a deeply private, you know what I'm saying? Anything to do with death, you know, birth, um, per- personal health issues, like these are all private things. And in, in the world of, you know, social media and technology, People don't see it like that anymore. You know, some people think that if you don't post everything that you're going through or what you buy or how you look, you know, they think that you're, you're, you're dead. You know, if you're not on social media 24 seven, people think that you're just a nobody, that you have nothing to offer, that you're just, you know, repelled by social media. And that's not the case. You know, a lot of celebrities, I think, should be actually more careful. You know, if anything, I think that social media and regular social media users should be more careful because once it's out there, it's out there and there's nothing you can do. So I hope that Megan is not negatively affected uh, mentally from this because what I what I have seen on the flip side is that people have been making fun of her. People have been laughing at, you know, this tragedy. And that's why I'm saying that it could never be me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I know Chrissy Teigen, which I think I believe is her friend. I don't know if it's her, her friend or not, but Chrissy, Chrissy Teigen came to Megan's defense saying, you know, people are gross. And I agree, you know, people are horrible. But the thing is, once you put it out there, there's no stopping it. And that's why I'm saying, you know, you know, what, what, it, what are we supposed to do with that information is my question. Like now that we know that Megan um, suffered a miscarriage in July, right? Like my question to Megan would be, what are we supposed to do with that information? You know what I'm saying? Are we supposed to be more, you know, open about s- miscarriage? Okay, if, if that's the case, great. Um, I'm not sure what she wants us to do with that information because I just feel I just feel like that's private. You know what I'm saying? And because they've they've gone through so much, I feel like I'm not surprised. I'm just I'm not I am not surprised. I'm not surprised that people have taken this as a opportunity to dig even deeper at this couple and Megan herself, you know, people have taken this as an opportunity to strike at her yet again. But the pr- the problem is is that this is a very very touchy subject you know that's private and it's just it's just something that i feel is so close to the parents hearts you know what i'm saying like if you lose a child that's between you and your husband or your close family that's not between you your husband close family and the the general public if you want to share that great but you know you don't you don't owe us anything you know megan like you don't you don't owe us an explanation honey of why you had a miscarriage like i'm just putting that out here so I think that now that they've put this out here, you know, certain media outlets are are making it a breaking news story. You see what I'm saying? Like they're they're turning this now into a news story. You know, it's no longer a private uh, tragedy and a horrible situation they went through. Now it's turned into a sensationalized story. And that's the problem. That is the exact problem with social media. And that is the exact problem that I feel celebrities and the royal family have had is where these personal private things happen and it gets leaked out or they themselves put it out and it becomes um, a problem. And the very, very common thing that I've seen about this um, on social media for Megan, I've seen, I actually, uh, the, the most common thing that I've seen people say is they thought that she wanted privacy. I saw a lot of people, um, you know, under the comment section saying, we thought she wanted privacy. We thought she wanted, see, so now they're, they're questioning her motive. And as a woman, I would never want someone to question my motive as to why I am talking about my kids or pregnancy or miscarriage. I would never want complete strangers to question why I'm sharing something so personal. And that's why I, I just, you know, in this situation, I feel for them. You know, I, I kind of wish they kept it quiet because I just think that it's just going to make people... It's like bees to honey, you know, every negative story that this couple and every negative situation this couple's gone through, it's just going to make it worse. It's not going to help this couple, you know, and I and I'm pretty sure in the back of Megan's mind, she thought that she would get some kind of sympathy, you know, and a lot of women, especially I feel should give her sympathy. I think if anything, you know, woman to woman, we should give her sympathy and we should, you know, 
give her time to grieve, I feel, feel like that's the, the most appropriate thing to do is to not comment. I'm not going to comment um, under the post. I'm not going to go on any website and say, you know, anything. I read it. I'm talking about it here. And that's it. I don't feel like it's something that we need to um dissect like it's very private and so that's why I feel like maybe it should have been kept private you know but unfortunately it wasn't so you know people have taken it upon themselves to you know laugh at her and I almost feel like berate her and you know it's just tragic I mean just put yourself in her shoes for two minutes you know um, imagine sharing this horrible news that you've lost a baby and people are using this as an opportunity to literally point arrows at you and shoot you down and make you feel less of a woman. Um, and, and that's just, like I said, like I said before, you know, nobody would want to live like that. I know a lot of people that believe that everybody hates Megan, you know, even, you know, people have said, oh, you know, you're jealous, you hate Megan. People, people love to, to say this for some reason, right? And I've always been the person to say, why would anyone be jealous of her? Like, this is, this is literally exhibit A. Like, this is exhibit A. Why would anyone be jealous of her? Like, look at her life. Like, people don't ever stop talking about her. Like I'm talking about her right now. You know, I'm, I'm giving my personal opinion right now. You know, people don't, people, she's always a hot topic. You know, me personally, why would you want to live like that? Why would you want to be a person who, I mean, it's one thing if it's positive, right? It's one thing if you're always getting positive, uh, stories about you and pictures about you. It's another thing to be getting constantly negative or c controversial or, trolling kind of attention there's, there's there's a complete difference there so for the people who say that everybody who's not a uh, who's not a major fan of her you know is jealous of her i would submit to you this situation right here and say nobody who nobody who has um who's in their right mind right would want to be scrutinized for something that happens to millions of women, which is having a miscarriage, okay? No woman on this planet would want to be scrutinized like that. And Megan is. So no, you know, I don't want her life and you should not want her life either. And this is exactly why the likes of Megan and other royals have left, right? This is exactly why we've seen over the years, even Diana, you know, could not, could not put up with it. She didn't want to put up with it. You know, she hated the paparazzi. This is exactly why it's just a horrible way to live. And I think that, you know, people nowadays who crave fame and crave, you know, to be this and to be that, they don't know what they're asking for because, you know, you're going to get this right here, which is people making fun of you because you lost a child. So, you know, why would you want to live a life like that? You know, besides the money, like that's what comes with it. Okay. What Megan's title and her position and who she is and who she's married to, she signed up for this basically. Okay. Um, not to get, she didn't sign up to get bullied, but she signed up to be a public figure, to be a duchess, to be a princess. That's what she is. That's what she is. Okay. Um, you know, if you look at like, <laughs> she has, she's a royal. She, she was, she is, who the hell knows? But, you know, she married into royalty. And um, the truth is, I feel bad for her. You know, that that's the truth. You know, all these girls and people in general who are ch chased by paparazzi and are always having to file lawsuits and they're, they're always having to, you know, fight back on social media and block people and, and ignore trolls. Like, I would never want to live like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's one thing to have comfort and to have, you know, um, a certain kind of privilege. And it's another thing to have all that privilege and comfort on the backs of torture. And what I feel like Megan has gone through is torture. I feel like from the day she married Harry, it's just been nonstop drama with the royal family, with the press, with her friends, with strangers, with trolls. Like she's never had a moment to just be a wife. And that's why I feel like 
you know, hopefully she knows what she signed up for. You know, hopefully she realizes that, you know, it's only going to get worse. I was actually going to make a separate video talking about the impact of, of media. And I actually have, you know, if you've, if you followed me for a while now, thank you so much. And you've enjoyed my videos that I do from time to time. You know, I'm not, I'm not always online. I'm not really an online junkie like that. I don't really like to be on on the internet all the time. But if you have watched other videos of mine, were especially the one where I was talking about my prediction with the media getting worse. There was a couple a couple months ago, I actually did a, did a prediction video talking about exactly this, which was the media was going to be social media, the media was going to get worse around the couple. And I was spot on again. That was months before they even stepped down. And I made that prediction. I was gave it was a whole hour long reading and chat. It was a live chat. It was a live video. It was streamed on YouTube. And it was powerful. And I was talking about exactly this right here, which is the fact that they're not just living normal lives. You know, no matter how normal Harry wants to be, he's never going to be normal. You know, our definition of normal. And that's tragic. You know, imagine being a celebrity and you can't even go to a gas station and go in the bathroom without people hounding on you. Britney Spears for Example, you know, ma imagine being the person where you wake up in the morning and you have to wear makeup because people are looking at you. Like I would never want to live like that. You know, I think there's 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 parts about that that there's parts about that kind of life that's fun, but ultimately you have no freedom. You know, your life is not your own. So I just want to say in closing that if you ever wanted to be like Megan and Harry or be a celebrity or whatever, um, be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. You know, if Megan. If, if Megan ever wished for a handsome British guy, which I believe she did in a joke, you know, there was one of these old videos where they were showing her talking about how she wanted a uh, a British man or some kind of affluent man. I'm not sure what the exact quote was, but, you know, there's been a lot of people who wish for things like this. You know, they wish to have a famous husband or boyfriend or famous wife or girlfriend. And then until they get the person, they realize what life really is like and then they regret it. So I don't, I don't envy this couple. I don't want what they got. Um, God bless them. You know what I'm saying? I think that after Megan's put this statement out or whatever the hell she, I didn't get to read it. First of all, I only saw a little bit and that's, I'm not that interested. I didn't read the whole thing that she put out, but Listen, after she put it out, that's it. I don't think she needs to go on any talk shows about it. She don't need to go write no book about it. Like, let it go. Because it's going to get some kind of negative press. That's that's my, my closing thoughts about it. Is whatever she does, it's going to get negativity, unfortunately for her. And, you know, this is never going to be... This is not the life that she thought she was going to get. You know, I, I believe deep down in my heart that Megan thought that she was going to get people bowing to her and praising her and saying nothing but nice things about her. And she's she's realized too late that that's just not the case. Diana didn't get that. Catherine didn't get that. The, the Duchess of York didn't get that. Fergie didn't get that. None, none of them get that. OK, none of these royals get that kind of treatment. OK, except, except the queen. And maybe Megan assumed she was going to get the opposite, but that's not the case, honey. So good luck, you know, raising other kids. I'm sure you guys will try again. If you guys don't try again, that's sad. Um, I would hope the couple would try again. You know, it's, it's, it's unfortunate they had a miscarriage, but they can always try again and she can get pregnant again. You see what I'm saying? So you had one, uh, you know, unfortunate situation, Megan, but guess what, honey, you could try again. You know what I'm saying? You can try again. You know, you're still in the season to have children biologically, naturally. And I think she should, I think that Megan should try again. Okay. So good luck to you, honey. But you know what? Listen, People that are watching me, y'all need to get a clue, okay? These people, these people like her, like Megan, they can't even live their life. You know what I'm saying? They can't even go to the park with their children, okay? Their friends. They can't even go out for a drink of wine, you know, a glass of wine, a dinner without it making breaking news. You know, that would suck. And I don't know why people think that people are jealous. I don't know why people... I don't understand people who wish to be famous. I understand being rich and being wealthy. Like, I understand that, that desire, you know, that need. But being famous, I don't understand people who want to be famous. So I would hope that Megan did not want to be hounded because that's what she is right now. Right now, she's she's basically 
moving in the direction of being like Diana. You know, a lot of people are calling her Diana 2.0. And that's what I feel. You know, she could be Di like Diana, but not in a good way. So I hope for her sake that she learns to just, you know, not give the press so much information and people the need to please people. You know, Megan, just just you know, be happy within yourself, with your husband, your close friends, and call it a day. Thank you all for watching. That's my that's my opinion. That's my thoughts on the whole ordeal. Um, feel free to subscribe. And there is merchandise from Teespring, Teespring that I have in the box below. As well as my website. My website's under construction. But if you are checking it out, it could be updated. Um, who knows? Okay, so go ahead, you know, watch other raw readings of mine if you're interested. You know, they're very accurate. I've said a lot of information, you know, every now and then I do, you know, updated readings on the couple to see where they're at. But quite frankly, I don't see nothing getting better for the couple, unfortunately. So I will just leave this couple to it. Thank you for watching. Bye.